it was easy because the wigs, the costume, and everything were just so easy to be like, oh yeah, I, that's your, that's the Britney Spears outfit. So nice to meet you both and a duo I did not realize I needed so badly. <laughs> I like hearing that. That nice. means you, you, you want more and you enjoyed the movie, so thanks for saying that. Cheers. Listen, it was funny, it was entertaining. John, I'll start with you. You wear a lot of wigs in this film. That's because I, I don't have any listen. hair up here. <laughs> really? No, nice it's, I mean, the penthouse I'm, is a little thin. It's all right, it's okay. All, it's who I am and I'm, I'm okay, it's all right. It's fantastic. Oh, stop it, says the guy with like full head of hair. Both of you, both of you should be like some in some sort of hair endorsement, first of all. <laughs> um, but that. what wig would you say did you relate to personally? Uh, I think the cool thing about wigs is it completely changes your look. So I related to none of them personally because none of them are me. Um, but when you yeah. put on a wig or like even the funny Ricky Stinicky, the bent Panama <laughs> uh, Australia hat that he puts on, like any prop like that, can yeah. help your impression and can help you assume the role of someone else. So every costume, the costume department, the makeup department, especially with all the impersonations that we did, yeah. man, anytime you get into costume, we did all those impersonations in one day. So it's That's like, amazing. okay, you're Peter Frampton, and now you're Dee Snyder, and now you're the dude from Devo, and now you're Britney Spears. Wow. Every change, it was easy because the wigs, the costume, and everything were just so easy to be like, oh yeah, I, that's your, that's the Britney Spears outfit. And I, it was tre well tremendous work it. on on John's behalf to do that. It's it's yeah. really hard. He, we, he had several days like that. This whole movie, it's you're a, a tour de force, man. It's but, well, all the all the props help. The more you can get someone like snap our snap judgment to be like that's Alice Cooper that all yeah. that helps the performance so the the wigs it's were amazing. or they were definitely instrumental in, in making that good well it was scary how believable you made it i was like oh my god this is crazy how well of a britney spears he does well, thank it's, you. it's amazing i have to say though you know we do hear this owen wilson sort of impression that you do in it and um it's you know according to the film I'm not judging, but it's 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 all right. It's yes. all right. But Zach, I'm curious to know, do you have an impression of someone that you can just nail it? Or in your head you think you're nailing it? Uh none that I want to do right now. I see where this is going. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Right on. Yeah, I like I can I can do a Chris Walken, I'm not gonna do it right Knows now. the final answer. Oh. Knows, that's a good answer. You can't say it. You can't no. say you want I'd, to do I something. I haven't had nearly enough caffeine. <laughs> oh, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Um, you know, this film is the very, very entertaining. John, I have to ask, though, um, obviously you as this amazing wrestler, have you had a chance to watch Iron Claw? And, like, where would you put Zach's performance in that? Like, does he actually Did I have a chance? I uh, flew out to the premiere you did. Uh, because, one, I love the story. I've worked with Michael Hayes of the Fabulous Freebirds extensively over my career and heard stories about the old sportatorium and uh, the, the hell that was raised by the Freebirds and the Von Erichs down in Dallas. Um, to be able to see Zach take on a, a very heavy role at times, and especially one, you know, films about sports entertainment can be mm -hmm. great or, or they can be half-hearted. I think a film about anything could, could take that avenue. And this was a very good representation of what was going on at the time, a wonderful performance by Zach, uh, and the whole crew did awesome. I, I thought the movie was exceptional, and he would, like I said, you'd have a spot in WWE any day. Oh, you're a legend. Oh. I actually, John was one of the first people I kind of told about uh, the Iron Claw. I'd, I'd, we'd finished filming it. Oh, but, that's amazing. Yeah, see, it's, it's, he was one of the first people I kind of, kind of told and talked with uh, anyone about the movie, and he, you know, talked about how he knew a lot of the guys. Was very familiar with uh, the characters and their, their stories. Just seeing what it meant to him, it really made me that much more excited. You know, one. That's amazing. That we made the film, and then two, just to, for John to see it. So when he came out to the premiere, I was psyched. Great movie. And Very to be well able done. to get that stamp of approval from a wrestler himself, right? Like, that's amazing. It was, I it's love huge. That. It was huge, right? That is yeah. huge. Yeah. Um, listen, well, we love this comedy genre for you. I know you've been doing some, you know, dramatic roles and all of that, but we like Zach in comedy. So can we <laughs> stay on that train? Oh, 100 percent. I, I like to do it all. I love switching it up and doing new things. But yeah, if if there's good people involved, if Peter's Pete Fairley's ever doing anything, I'm I'm gonna be in. If John's ever doing anything, anything, I'm in. Like the video? Then hit the button, or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here, and don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here. 
for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.